probably may be some shelving. So, how old am I? I am 38 years old. Um, but other than that, the convention was absolutely uh, unbelievable, guys. I really, really enjoyed myself there. Alright, I got a few stairs here. I probably need to save up my dark oak and get a few regular pieces of wood. A husk might spawn? Ah, that's true. You know what? Uh, oh no, actually it shouldn't because of my half slabs, but... I seem to be 30. I wish I was still 30. <laughs> I wish I was still 30, man. Alright. So yeah, but the rest of the convention was really, really good. It was short. Also, I had no idea how long it would take me to get to and from the airport when I was there. So it, that was a huge shock. Not no like I thought I would have time the next day, um, and I, I really didn't have any time whatsoever. You guys, I mean, hardly any time to enjoy um, the third day of the convention. I did get to see um, a few of the things that I needed to, but the day that I was there, the full day I was there, I had a lot of appointments and I saw a lot of cool games. Uh, so that was really, really neat. Also, I got to see Good for a little while, and Good said there was some really cool things coming uh, for Minecraft with like the mod API getting um, worked in, and it's going to be like the Windows Edition stuff, you know. So it'll be pretty neat. All right, let's eat a little bite here, and let's see what I want to do. So I'm thinking that probably a big thing, like a uh, almost like a almost like a piece of wall furniture. Kind of like a wardrobe would look pretty good. So I'm gonna might try that. Z Cena? <laughs> oh man. Thank you so much, TP Mick. Thanks for being subscribed. Alright, not much happened. I just did some lighting up here if you guys missed it. And I told the story about how I was drugged at E3. But it'll be in the YouTube videos uh, follow up for those of you that have missed some of the stream. Uh, okay, so let's play around with this concept here. We need a little shelving unit, uh, so what I think would be a good deal is let's do, let's get a little shelving unit going on here. I think I want this to be like five wide. Let's try this. That way the shelving can actually be three and I can play around with some stuff in between. Uh, all right, we do have some slabs and we do have some stairs. So let's see how this would go. If I would do like that, I think I don't think I want to do it like that. I think I want to do it to the outside. Like that, yeah. Yes, like that. So basically what I want to do here is just give it the... Just give it a little bit of... I mean a little bit of like design. I don't know what you'd even call it. That way it's just not straight like a box, you know? It's, it's it's just made to be aesthetic. It's not really a big deal. All right. So I think that's going to be pretty good for the most part. Now it's... And if I put doors right there... You guys might get your wish. I might actually do birch doors. Hold your horses. I know y'all love... I know y'all love some birch. Arch lovers, where you at? I don't know if I'm gonna do it though. So let's let's just put a few pieces down and make some doors. Forgot what the bridge doors look like. They look like that. So that might be a lot too light. I changed my mind already. Arch lovers, you're not getting your wish. Today. Not getting your wish. Okay, so. I'm almost positive that spruce doors would probably work the best. Let's just put together some regular doors too, because this is on a piece of furniture, so... Yeah, spruce doors are going to work the best for this application. Work the best for this application. 
Um, what am I doing? Bruce. <laughs> Cub fan loves Birch. I love Birch too, but it does just doesn't fit with the color scheme of this build. It's too light. Um, and with light, you want it to really accent stuff. So, like, notice that all the elements of white in my build are either windows or light sources. And that's how it's going to stay. So, if you see a light source, you're probably going to see white. Um, I'm not doing yellow light sources. Not for this, at least. Um, downstairs, it might have a little bit of a different color design. But I don't know yet. So, Dana stands for Dynamic Artificial Intelligence Navigation Assistant. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't think I don't think the birch doors would do it. All right. So I'm gonna do, bam, bam, and let's see here. How am I going to? Maybe just regular. Just like that. Now I'm gonna need a couple of item frames to make that, to just to complete it. So let me do that. Let me grab a couple, let me make a couple of item frames. I do believe I have a little bit of leather, so that should work. The dark, the, the thing about the Dark Oak Demon Wrath is that I'm already using it for exit doors. So I don't want people to think it's an exit door. It needs to look like furniture. So for me in decorating, you have to have things like this is already, if it's not an exit door, it's a spruce door. And the exit doors to the actual house or that. It just kind of does things in your mind. So it's kind of like a wardrobe. Yeah, zombie Lexi. I like a wardrobe. That's what I'm going for anyway. All right. So let's do, where is the leather? Leather is somewhere. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. Leather. And the rest is going to be, I think it sticks, huh? I think it sticks. All right, I'm going to need probably a few. I'm just going to make some sticks. All right. Yeah, there's the item frames. All right. So we got that. Uh, we can probably do. Let's see. Let's do. Let's do iron boots for the. Actually, I don't want to do leather boots because I don't have enough leather to really port around with that. Um, but I believe I could do iron boots for um, for like the chest of drawers. So. You make sure you don't go fully through the closet. Nah. Where's all the iron? Ah, there it is. Uh, I thought I had, yeah, I already have some boots. So before I make extra boots, I just want to see how this looks. I like using, um, I like using boots as the, uh, like the handles. And this texture pack, it looks pretty good at least, I think. I'm gonna try it. So... There we go, and no, it doesn't do what I thought. Maybe I was thinking of something else. Yeah, I was thinking of something else. I do love the sound effects that come with it now. Um, what can I use to make this? Uh, maybe it used to look a little bit different. Maybe it used to look a little bit different in the texture pack. I don't know. Item frames to mark chests? Eh, sooner or later. If I, when I get a lot of leather, I will. So what can I use for a decent handle here? I know the typical slabs and stuff like that, but... Um, I'm wondering if any specific die would look good. Actually, mushrooms probably wouldn't look good. I'm trying to think of something that would emulate a good handle. We might be able to do something interesting with these. Let's go see. I'm glad I didn't make any boots. The texture pack is Faithful 32. 
You're asking why, Dark Shadows? Why what? That I don't go all the way through for the closet? Alright, so if I were to put buttons behind the actual item frames like that, and in the item frames, I would add the spruce fence gates. You can't even see them. Can't even see them. Kind of like that better. Yeah, those look like those look like good little drawer handles. I like that. I'm okay with that. So yeah, yeah. Well, if you do a slab in but sideways, it kind of resembles a cabinet. I don't want it to look like cabinets. I want it to look like little like foldouts, almost like drawers. Okay. So now we have a little wardrobe. Um, in the corner here, we can do something neat. We could do maybe a little room divider. So, we would probably have to do regular wood for that. Now, I don't know how we can make this really room divider-y. But I'm going to try a few things here. So we'll leave space on either side, just like that. I think I might be able to add fence post in the corner, but I don't know if it's going to work real well. Mainly because I'm on half slab. So, room dividers work really well with fence in between them when there is um when it can connect all the way down all right so a few slabs right here might do the trick how's that doesn't look much like a room divider it kind of just looks like some stuff so how do we make that happen I think my dog is barking, you guys. Hold on just a moment. Hold on just a minute, please. Alright folks, sorry about that, don't worry about that. You know some wood wool, some uh, some brown wool might look good in the corner right there. It was my wife actually, and, and she says, she said, hey, uh, you want me to hold your Popeyes for now or do you want it a little bit later since you're streaming and everybody's gonna think you're sponsored by Popeyes. <laughs> What blue block is that? What blue block are you talking about? I don't know what you're asking. Witchering fool. Mm -hmm. mm. Alright. So, yeah, that kind of... Let's take... What would... I mean, I know this is not the right color fence I would like to use, but... Yeah, I think spruce fence would finish that out, you guys. I think it would make it look good, and it would be alright because... If the half slab is on top, it's just going to look like connectors. So I think that's okay. Let's get some spruce fence. What stuff will stop you up? Popeyes? No! No, no, no. Popeyes don't stop you up. Popeyes, Popeyes is good. Okay. Bruce Fence, perfect. Four pieces left. This is my jam right here. Uh, oh yeah, the sea lantern. You talking about these? These things that give light? Ah, yeah, those are sea lanterns. Alright. Spruce in the con- Oh boy. Yes, 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 yes. That looks pretty darn good. Okay. That's a room divide. Again, guys, we just kind of trying to 
break into what would appear to be some different elements of room design. And now that we have something in the corner, we could probably make this a little bit better using a corner type design. So let's take these stairs and let's do something like Will we be able to see the light over that? Nope. It needs to be one higher, I think. I don't know why I keep taking my axe out. If there's any tool that I need right now, it's this one. Okay. That's not what I want to do. I'm not even sure I know what I want to do. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good fixture. I just need to cap it. All right. Because I want it to be visible. I want the light to be visible from uh, the outside. Just like I want it to be subtle. Just like that. And let's go on top with one slab. If I can even get up there. Ha! No. <laughs> I should have known better. Should have known I'm gonna get used to this stuff one day, you guys. There we go. Open an Isaiah shop? Yeah, sooner or later. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a good little corner, like a focal point. That's something that stands out in the corner. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna need, something for this wall, which I honestly, I think as far as furniture is con concerned on this side, this is probably pretty darn good for this. I might do something like a suit of armor, um, a standing suit of armor, and uh, I might do a couple of pictures. Actually, weren't we supposed to have a window on this wall? We were supposed to have a window on this wall. All right, let's figure out a center point here. This would actually be the center, so it's gonna have to be off center. How many spaces in between these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, how about we do something? Like this. Oh, somebody's calling me. It's my dad. I'm gonna call him back. I already called him to wish the best dad in the world happy Father's Day. I'm gonna call him back after I finish my stream. Well, go to talk to him. Okie doke. So, from the inside, we just had white glass, right? From the outside, we can worry about the outside later. Did the volume get lower? It shouldn't have gotten lower. Should be about the same volume. I didn't do anything to it. Did anybody else notice that? You didn't get a call from your dad in years. What? No, <laughs> ghostly fedoras. No, I already called him and he wasn't available. So I said I would just, he, I said to call me when he has a chance. We'll have plenty of time to talk, don't worry. He knows I gotta work and I know he's gotta work. So it's just kind of the way, don't worry, we gonna get to talk today. I just don't wanna rush it because I'm in the middle of streaming, you know? All right, so this actually looks pretty good and it kind of, it kind of breaks up the wall, that's cool. Um, all right, so what I might do right here is just do a small table. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna do table at all. I think I'm just gonna leave this barren right here. 
Let's get a little shelf unit done right here, maybe. I need more stairs. Okay. So let's have what are we gonna have on this shelf? I know a potted plant seems like a no-brainer, right? So a potted plant and a light source would be nice too. What kind of light source would we be able to do though? It has to look different from our other light sources. Oh, okay, zombie. <laughs> I was like, what happened to my volume? I'm always worried about my darn audio, man. For good reason, though. Like, there's just so many things that can go wrong. And I, w I can't even tell you how many times I've done something, like, recorded videos and stuff, and there were sections of the audio that was bad. Even, even old pros like Zul'jin do that. All right, I do need some flower pots. And let's see. Let's go with... Right now, for this particular application, I think I'm going to go with a birch sapling. For those birch lovers, I really, really just want to give you guys something of birch in the house. <laughs> Alright. Hey, good times with Scar is on. Alright, so let's see. What kind of light source are we going to use here? I think... Probably just... Good old score. All right. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to go with a sea lantern right there. So let's just do something simple, okay? All right. I kind of said y'all said hi be polite <laughs> just to be polite okay so let's get a small lamp on this side and right here I guess we're just gonna do that potted plant <laughs> he says awesome hi twitch okay How's that, you guys? Hot dog! That just breaks up the room a little bit and all you birch lovers got some birch! How about that? <laughs> okay. So. This is the point that I didn't know what to do with. So, this, even though I did have it as a window here, I might separate this into something a little bit different. We could do an upstairs bathroom. Being that the window is right here, we would have to put curtains, though. That makes sense. Yeah? I think so. Okay. So, let's just plan to section this off. So... Let's section it off with dark wood. Do a study up top? You know what? That's a great idea. I just don't have a lot of books right now. I do not have a lot of books. But I think a study would be good. Maybe I'll have enough to make a book with, um... I remember trying to go to the bookshop and there wasn't a whole lot there either. Suppose I can make some books if I had a, a, a reasonable amount of leather. Alright, let's just get some dark wood. I'll still consider it, for sure. Toilets? <laughs> I love toilets! You probably shouldn't say that in public, um, Magingasaurus. <laughs> People might get the wrong idea. Of course, I know what you mean. Alright, so let's seal this up. Now, we have two options here. We could kind of come up... See, if we went... If we came out a little bit... 
it might just throw the design out a little bit and I think I might like that. So what happens if we did this? Yeah, and there's still some wall spacing, so that's okay. All right. Let's do... I don't know how I'm going to run my entrance yet. I also don't know what to do with these intersections where where I come. I guess I'm just going to have to, like, interrupt my ceiling flow. Okay. Very good. All right, so we will continue the wall here, but I just got to figure out the entrance now. All right, so we can't have the entrance here. I mean, we can, but it would be weird. Um, well, for the bathroom, it wouldn't be too weird. Actually, coming out by one more would be all right, but we'd have to move the shelf over by one. Maybe just, maybe let's just put the door right here. That's not too bad, huh? And we want to make it look the same size. So, let's do this. All right. So there's going to be a little entrance to the um to the restroom. We can't put a door in here. Can we put a spruce fence, like, in separating right here? That's pretty good. And I think that's pretty good just, like, for a, a, a little bathroom here. Just for some privacy. And we could do this little, um, this little thing that people do for privacy in public bathrooms. And I think that would be pretty good. So let's do... Oh, not that. Let's just do this instead. We'll do... Yeah, that's probably enough right there. Here's some bad guys outside. All right, so now... You, you couldn't see in the bathroom either. It's like a little privacy deal. See what I mean? Pretty cool, huh? All right. So let's do this. And now we would need to fit a sink, a toilet, and I guess a tub. <laughs> um, let's see. Change the music, please. I can't do any copyright music because I upload these to YouTube. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's do... I guess what I could do is... I'm gonna do a pretty traditional toilet, I do think. I wish I had a little bit of quartz. I do not. I might have to substitute some stuff, you guys. But... What I think I'm going to do is, let's see, yeah, I am going to need quartz, actually. Don't I have any quartz at all? I might have to, you know what, we can take a break from building just for a moment, and we can go find some quartz. So I'll tell you what, let me put all of my stuff in here. Let me put all of my stuff in here. That way, I won't lose anything by going to the nether. Hey, girl. <laughs> All right. Just got to make sure that I have my bow and arrow with me. All right. So now we can go to the nether. So much toilet talk. I know, huh? <laughs> Biffa has quartz for sale? Does he have, does he have quartz for sale, you think? Shopping trip? If somebody has, Biffa sells quartz, but it's expensive. I mean, I don't need a lot. It's just for accent. All right. Yeah, I'll take me to Biffa's shop. I'm going to grab my diamonds. I don't have a whole bunch, but we'll try. Just in case I have to go to the nether, I'll bring my uh, my stuff. All right. Uh, and actually, 
Let me get some Ender Pearls too, just in case. I could probably use some to travel as well. Be a little bit quicker than what I'm 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 used to. Uh, where did I put my chicken? Did I really save my chicken up? I almost went without no food, y'all. Um, a newbie. <laughs> Thank you, bearded giant. All right, don't waste your diamonds. I mean, if it's enough quartz, if it's enough quartz, this diamonds are currency. Money is made to be spent, ladies and gentlemen. I don't mind spending a little bit of money. All right. I don't mind spending a little bit of cashola. Four diamonds for 16 blocks? Oh my god! Really? Okay, we, so we're not gonna be shopping for quartz then. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're not gonna be. We're just gonna go on an adventure then. Uh, I do need to put.